I'm just going to come out with something Jurgen Klopp says. Jurgen Klopp says that of all the trophies he's won with Liverpool, and he's won some important ones, like their first league title in a million years, and, of course, the Champions League, this was the sweetest. Can you understand that? Or is it just some big Scouse red love fest? No, I think I can understand it, of course. I think part of him is maybe trolling slightly Chelsea and, and Marshall Pochettino, but we'll come to that later. When you win with your D team, really, because the extra time team is your D team. It's not your A team, not your B team, not your C team. It's your D team. It's a bit when, mean to Van Dijk and Luis Diaz. And okay, that's the only two. Yeah, it's two out of 11. <laughs> the rest are kids from the academy who some of them have never played with the first team or hardly. This is, this is their D team. And for them to still manage to win it, not even in penalties, it's just incredible. So I can, I can understand why he feels sweet because there will be a point, and I was at the game, there was a point when you felt there's no way Liverpool can win this final. It's impossible. Chelsea were too good towards the end of the 90 minutes. They were too strong. They had the better players. They had the most momentum. They had the better chances. They had everything. And you, would, you, you were sat there and thinking, there's, they just cannot lose this final. This is not possible. And somehow they managed to lose it. Uh, you mentioned the, the, the Chelsea chances. I mean, personally, I thought over the course of the game, Liverpool had the, the better chances. Um, but in a game like this, when it's so tight, it's, it can be one thing or another, right? It can be um, the, the Raheem Sterling goal that was disallowed. You know, we're talking millimeters. That, that's yeah, not yeah. a defensive plan. Um, we're talking hitting the woodwork. So those chances were there. At minute 90, just in terms of who you thought, the momentum was clearly with Chelsea at that yeah, point because be. Liverpool had to take everybody off. And But did you feel like the, the, did you feel like Chelsea deserved to win or you just feel like there's the momentum and they're going to get it across the line in extra no, time? So I thought Liverpool would have more of the ball, which they had in the 90 minutes. I did feel that Chelsea could hurt them even after this. Even after this so there's the sterling chance, you know, on the cross from Gallagher and his first touch yeah. is poor. And then I think maybe Palmer should score. But... But that's pretty much all they had in the first half with the decided goal that I think is, is just slightly offside. But the second half, I thought Chelsea really were in the game so well and, and Liverpool clearly tired and you could see they were tiring. Clearly they lose a lot of impact, even physically in midfield as well, McAllister. And you felt, okay, this, right. this, this just can be only one winner. I just wish for Chelsea you fans <laughs> and Pochettino that the best chance he didn't end with Gallagher. You know how, how much I don't <laughs> okay. rate Gallagher. I know he's a runner. Right. I know he's an athlete and he's more uh, athletic than football. But if that ball had ended up with anybody else, he would have scored two goals. The other ball in the first half ended up with Cole Palmer and he couldn't finish either. No, I so, know. But then... And, but, uh, okay. So if you could see that, a momentum had shifted and there was no way Chelsea could lose and they could just take the game to them and win it in extra time. Former Paris Saint-Germain coach, Mauricio Pochettino, Yeah. Did not see that. He said afterwards that, oh, at that point, we were clearly tired. I'm paraphrasing here. And we thought maybe the best thing to do was play for penalties. Yeah. Who's their front three at that time? Uh, Madueke, yeah. uh, Mudrik. Yeah. And... And Kunku. and Kunku. Tired? Are they tired? They've played for three seconds? Where is the time? How is the time? Okay, Chilwell and Gallagher, you take them off. Yeah, you put Shaloba right back. It's not ideal. Gusto are left back. But really, you have a front three of Mudrik, Madweke, and Nkunku, and you decide not to attack anymore? Why are you deciding not to attack anymore? He said, we felt it was right to play for penalties. There's half an hour to play. This is not a golden goal. It's a f whoever scores first doesn't win. You still have to play 15 minutes, 15 minutes of extra time. And you felt like, let's not play. Let's just go to penalties? I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I wondered, I mean, we're, we're going to go back and have a go at him. I think a lot of it has to do with, he also realized, hey, two of those three guys Jules just mentioned really aren't very good. But it doesn't uh, matter. Don't tell me but, they're tired. But, no, I, I agree with you. Tell me they're not good, but don't tell me they're tired. I want to focus a little bit, and just not just on Liverpool as well, because mm. those kids to have the mind frame to go and keep playing, I, I, I wonder if it's one of those things where, they don't realize where they are. They don't realize the context. So in some ways, they're more free. Maybe there's nothing because they all contributed. Yeah. Um, because by that point in the game, obviously Virgil van Dijk, the hero with the goal, but Luis Diaz had run himself into the ground. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how I that could, guy could stand could at the end. He could not walk anymore. Um, and so it really was a case of, you know, spit and gravel getting you over the line, which I thought, I thought this is why. And look, yeah. I, I'm it not was good to see, to be fair. 
Yeah. But again, they shouldn't have never won that final. I, I have to say, I'm not a Liverpool fan, but very few teams do narratives the way Liverpool yeah. do.